Good morning. I'm not in love with you anymore. I didn't know you ever were. I am back with a food video and if you've been on my channel before you know this is actually like what I started <laughs> doing first on YouTube this is just a what I eat in a day while I've been trying that's in quotation marks to lose weight but I'm starting off with breakfast and I'm doing a shaken espresso with cinnamon and some oat milk then I'm gonna go ahead and make an egg white and spinach scramble and I put that on two sourdough English muffins this is like a perfect breakfast for when you got stuff to do, but you still want to make it look like, you know, you, you did a little something in the kitchen at first. <laughs> I started a new job um, and my job starts at nine, nine to five, obviously. So I really try to incorporate meals that are like quick, easy. I still love cooking, but when I don't have a lot of time to do a lot of stuff, I love meals that are like super simple, straight, let's get to it. For my second snack of the day, I started to prep some rice again, just so that I like, right when I'm ready to eat lunch, I don't even have to wait the 20 minutes to cook the rice. I already had it good and going, but I got some dairy-free yogurt right here. I'm just weighing that out on my little handy dandy skilly scale. Um, I do try to track my calories sometimes, calories and or macros, but I especially wanna make sure that I'm getting in a good amount of protein because y'all know I love to work out. If y'all didn't know that, follow me on Instagram to see me fooling around in the gym i'm just adding some blueberries right now and then i also top that off with some of my favorite local honey For lunch, I am seasoning some shrimp with some Chinese five spice and a little bit of rice vinegar. I'm mixing that all up. Yes, I eat shrimp and meat. <laughs> um, in some videos, some people were like yelling at me in the comments like, I thought you was vegan. And I'm like, I never said I was given vegan, never said that. Um, but no, anyways, usually I do like to eat a plant-based diet, but sometimes depending on like where I'm at in the month and just depending on what I feel like eating, I will eat meat. I try not to cook a lot of meat at home simply because I don't like touching raw meat. Um, barring fish and shrimp i actually don't mind that anyways enough about me i am just pan frying the shrimp right here i should have got a bigger pan but it's lunchtime i was rushing moving on i'm trying to organize a prison break i'm looking for like an accomplice <laughs> we'd have to first get out of this bar then the hotel then the city and then the country are you in or you out then I went in with some garlic powder and black pepper and I honestly just picked up like a little stir fry kit from Kroger because they're super cheap. Don't have to worry about chopping up your vegetables or anything like that. You literally just put the vegetables in the pan. I didn't use the sauce that it came with. I made my own seasoning with it. Then I added all of that and the shrimp to a bowl and I added some of this sushi seasoning dressing. Oh my gosh, I love this y'all. It's just like a, a vinegary dressing and you can use it on top of salad for when you do stir fries and all of that. Then of course I also went in with some coconut aminos which is like a little soy sauce substitute use soy sauce if you want to it really doesn't matter they honestly both taste the same to me
Then I went ahead and started to prep snack number two so that I can eat it after dinner. Um, I actually took a couple spoonfuls before dinner. I had to see how it was tasting. <laughs> but I got a pineapple and started to cut that up. I don't know if it's just me, but when I was younger, well, I thought pineapples were so hard to cut up. And then I noticed if you look at a pineapple, it literally tells you on the tag how to cut it up so we can't be out here acting silly y'all i went ahead and weighed that out also and added some coconut milk some unsweetened coconut milk to it and then i went ahead and blended all of that up and put it in the freezer for later this was like a little coconut whip type situation it was really good i wish i would have frozen it for longer um and this probably would be bomb if you like adding a frozen banana to to make it a little bit creamier And for dinner, I'm having a little personal pizza. I got these protein pizza crusts, again, from the good sis Kroger, Mr. Kroger's. Thank you, Mr. Kroger's. And I'm using this Primal Kitchen spaghetti sauce because I usually like to make my spaghetti sauce, but at the end of the workday sometimes, I'm not feeling like all that. So I spoon the sauce on top of the pizza crust, then I add it. Added some cooked chicken that I already had that I seasoned up with some Italian seasoning. I added some olives. I'm an olive girl, okay? The color, the is the olive a vegetable? The color, the snack, vegetable, whatever. I'm about that olive life. So I added the entire pack of those on there because that's my business. mushrooms on top and then something that i didn't do in this video but i did it the next time i made this pizza you should honestly spray or like drizzle some oil on top of your pizza if you are using mushrooms it just helps the mushrooms cook better and like get a better texture you know then i went in with these these dairy-free mozzarella shreds this is not my favorite brand um i feel like there's meltier ones out there but it served its purpose, okay? It was, a good, it was a good little pizza situation. Then, of course, after dinner, I went in and had that little dull whip situation that I made before. And that's a super simple what I eat in a day. Let me know if y'all want more of these videos, more plant-based what I eat in a day. I know not everybody eats meat. I switch off. But, yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.